Welcome to another episode of ATS Podcast. My name is Say. Come on, man. Stop it. Yes, sir. You know what time it is, man. You know what we do here. We give you a deeper introspective into what all things being spiritual. So you know where you at and you know what you need to do. Take your shoes off. So, Stand it on the ground. You feel bastards. bastards. Ah. Yes, sir. Here we go. God be glorified. This one might not be for you. If you got a lot of pride, this one might mm. not be for you. You know what I'm saying? If you think God can't speak to you, mm. let's get it. Let's go. One and done. First ballot. Hall of Famers. Only one summer. First time offenders. Second Corinthians 521. One and done. John 1930. No bail. Innocent yet charged and found guilty. Mark 14, 61 to 64. None stood with him. Mark 14, 27. He who eats bread with me lifted up his heel against him. John 13, 18. Strip him naked, not esteemed amongst them. Isaiah 53, 4. 10% is think they're entitled <laughs> among <laughs> God. Matthew 27, 28 to 40. <laughs> Those who throw a measle offering think God is indebted to them. Luke mm. 18, 19 to 12. You not having any confidence in God? I want you to know it's mutual. Mm. Mark 1430. That's a bar. The job is done. John 1930. Work is done. Matthew 5, 17. Have you considered my servant, Job, chapter 1, verse 8? That was a type and a foreshadow. Mm. The Esau asking for another blessing received one. I'm asking mm -hmm. you bastards. Genesis 37, 30 to 40. How about forgiveness? Hebrews 12, 16 to 18. You say amen to heresies. Galatians 1, verse 5. And frown you face the truth. John 14, 6. Bastards, Deuteronomy 23. You have brought forth those not called, not appointed or anointed. Romans 8, 28 to 30. Heathens. Matthew 18, 17, abomination, Le Leviticus 18, degenerates who try to smear the rainbow, Genesis 9, 13, and sundown, Genesis 15, 17, and still you embrace them. Your lack of reverence for God make you embrace them, even trying to force them on us, Genesis 1, 26, not comprehending that is the same reason you don't get us. Go ahead. Embrace Cain. Embrace Esau. Embrace Lot. Embrace mm. Absalom. And mm. Judas. Lights off. Children of the spirit are always mocked by children of the flesh. Genesis 21, 9 to 10. And the firstborn male on the matrimony. Bastard, it's written. Matthew 1, 18 to 25. Check the archives. Mm. We've been at spiritual war, Ephesians 6, 12, so long, it's hard to confront the civilian lifestyle with PTSD, prophetic translation of spiritual divine. Sorry for the sports analogy, 1 Corinthians 9, 24 to 27, forgetting you're not in the game, mm. much less to get it in scriptures. 2 mm. Timothy 3, 16, all who is spiritual would take big shot, Rob 7 over Michael 6, as you are. Sweet All day. Aroma. Sweet aroma. You'll never understand. Romans 3.11. This favor come with being with the anointed. Not to comprehend that is not to understand. Romans 3.11. Your salvation. Romans 10. 9 to 10. I know you think it's you. He sits in the heavens and he laughs. Psalms 2.4. More soldiers died in the cervix than service. Tell the bastards. Do the mm. <laughs> Who made it. It's for weakness and Second John 1 to 12. Oof. Gave you worthy. Episode 238. Even though you weren't worthy, look what you put before us. Genesis 1 26. See why I didn't send Elijah to Israel during the famine? Mm. First Kings 17, 7 to 16. Time, times and a half. Luke 4, 25 to 30. You so-called believers wouldn't take us in. No room in the end. Luke mm -hmm. 2, 7. Your love for the bastards, not knowing the child of the bondswoman shall not grow up with the child of the promise. 
Genesis 21, verse 9. I told you, you're like the Ammonites and Moabites who didn't greet us with bread and water. Deuteronomy 23, 3 to 8. Would you take from the bastards and give us? Take mm -hmm. the other bastards, consider it grace. Mm -hmm. 2, 8 to 10. It's not your fault. Stick around for the mock, for dialogue. It's just a monologue. You think a lot of things, OG. Just no red and blue, you're not more blood. Leviticus 17, 11, then up. Genesis 1, 26. You can crip on water to that. Matthew 14, 25. <laughs> oh, man. Imitation is flattery. Come on, man. Imitation is flattery. Don't be so vain. It's not blood red, but at times your vein look blue. The kingdom mm. fight against itself cannot stand. Mark mm. 3, 24. Red and blue were in the priest's effort. Exodus 28, verse 6. Does the sky appear blue? Is your blood red? Flesh and blood is not your enemy. But dark spirits, Ephesians 6, 12. G's move in silence. Ecclesiastics 3, 7. Hold that close to your chest. The only time I speak in chess is to declare checkmate. John mm. 9, 30. Claiming to be doing something in the walls. Isaiah 66, verse 1. Don't impress us. Genesis 1, 26. As it's not the same as church. Ephesians mm. 1, 22. Mm. Of the kingdom, Revelations 22, it's not your fault. Mm. Boys. You don't see yourself in the book, Revelations 13, 8. You're probably not in the book, Revelations 21, 27. Those in the book don't have to wait on the book to be open. It's written off me before the foundation, Revelations 13, 8. No forerunner or pacers, bastards, Deuteronomy 23. No blueprint, make it according to the pattern. Exodus 25, 40. I am as I believe I speak. 2 Corinthians 4, 13. If the spirit, Job 32, verse 8, does not vibe with our spirit, Genesis 41, 38, that's inherent. Mm. Ezekiel 28, 15 to 19. Missing out on us here is a precursor of missing out on us there. <sighs> Genesis 1, 26, not your fault. Bars. How you figure here, Romans 8, 17. Are you sure? You understand? Romans 3, 11. Your salvation, Romans 10, 9 to 10. Abraham paid tith to Melchizedek. Genesis 14, 18 to 21. I am exempt. Deuteronomy 18, 1 to 8. You do diligence, but not to offend. Matthew 17, 27. Here's another offering. Keep in mind, though, it's abolished. Done. Mm. Mm. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Force. Too much. Hmm. How about we wait until the book, Revelations 13 8, is open? <laughs> <laughs> know those who have no seed with more seed than you. Romans mm. 9 say, What's your definition of rich and wealthy? Because I mm. know you really are. Colossians 1 127. Are you really favored of God? You know nothing else, so you think you're striving. Mm. Ecclesiastes 2, 22. It's not your fault. Mm. Grace, Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. Eliminate arrogance. Romans 12, verse 3. Look what you're hoarding. Matthew 6, 19 to 21. Imagine if you had something of value. One written in the book, Revelations 13, 8. We'll have a longing. Galatians 5, 22. For it, can be, for it can be open, Revelations 21, 27. Manifest is that written of us, Genesis 1, 26. One of the hardest spots of the sojourn, Exodus 12, 40, is humility, 1 Peter 5, verse 6. Not your fault. Mm. My heart grieved for the one who overcome living just to die. Mm. Isaiah 59, verse 2. Let that breathe. Let that breathe. My heart grieved for the one who overcome living just to die. Isaiah 59, verse 2. Do you do diligence? Mm -hmm. I overcame death to live. 1 Corinthians 15, 50 to 58. Thanks for you abiding me under your shadow. Psalms 90, verse 1. When we were among sustenance, we served. Luke 22, 26. Mm. Tell how much more the essence. 
John 4, 24. Sacrifice our skills to defend. Philippians 1, 15 to 18. Overscoring. Walk in relationship. Romans 8, 16 over religion. James 1, 26. Freely received, freely given. Matthew 10, verse 8. What was on the right side? Was on the right side of a wire and charge. Matthew 26, 63 to 65. Open not his mouth, Isaiah 53, 7. Strike the shepherd and they shall flee, Zechariah 13, 7. It's written of us, Genesis 1, 26, what was done behind the walls. Revelation 2, 14. You have a dishonorable send-off for the honorable, Hebrews 13, 12. Yes. And an honorable send-off for the dishonorable. Wisdom is yet again vindicated, Luke 7, 35. You can talk to us now. Let's see then. 1 Corinthians 6, 3, do you, do you do diligence, you filthy bastards. It's veil from you, the lighting of the candle, Leviticus 24, 3 to 4. Is that carried out by the one who puts out the showbread, Leviticus 24, 8 to 9. It's not your fault. Mm -hmm. Likewise, the utensils, Exodus 27, 19 to 21. Tell Netflix I have a kitchen series to pitch them. Same stove we're using, Genesis mm -hmm. 15. 17. Bars. <laughs> Woo. Mm. I know mm. you have come unto the Lord, thus for the veil remain over your face, like Moses had to cover the glory, symbolic of what is this today when they read the scriptures. 2 Corinthians 3, 18, 12 to 18. It's as if the veil is not torn. Mark 15, 38. All the sacrifices you are making is in vain, as it's abolished. Daniel 11, veil from you I see, is the more you oppress the anointing, the more it increases. Acts 6, verse 7, claiming they are married to the Christ, but carrying the same old, the same old slave master, last name. Mm. Rich. Mm. Rich. Some veil they face, their face and write the soul. But as for us, Genesis 1, 26, who covers the glory of God? Revelations 21, 23, it's not your fault. Mm. Your offsprings in the spirit, Romans 9, is more than those in the flesh. Romans 9, verse 8. Thus, the barren women have more kids than the bondswoman. Isaiah 54, verse 1. I descended myself, but I am not on the same level. John 3, 13. You remind us of the devil. Ezekiel 28, 11 to 19. Familiarity breeds contempt, Mark 6, verse 4. Heavy is the crown, Psalms 132, 18, even if of thorns, John 19, 5. Mm. Does anyone learn from the first man, 1 Corinthians 15, 4 to 5, and Eve? Still taking senses, are you bastards? 1 Corinthians 21. Christ had 12 subscribers, Luke 9, verse 1. Over time, times and a half, Daniel 12, 7. But can you really count the son of perdition? John 17, 12. And Downton Thomas, John mm. 20, 27 to 28. ATS, all things spiritual, the same period of time, 40 trials and tribulations. It's not your fault. Thank you mm. for hanging around for the monologue. Here comes the dialogue. Mm. It's not your fault. So. If I'm not mistaken, that little. Another model look like it took about 20. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you know, we're just here by ourselves now, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Wow. Mm. For the kingdom. Yes, sir. Here comes the dialogue, bastards. <laughs> One and done. First ballot Hall of Famers. Only one summer. First time offenders. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> one and done. First ballot Hall of Famers. Only one summer. First mm -hmm. time offenders. Second Corinthians 5 21. One and done. John 19 30. Do you do diligence? No bail. Innocent yet charged and found guilty. Mark 14 61 64. None stood with him. Mark 14, 27. He who eats bread with me, he who eats my bread, lifted up his heel against me. 
John 13, 18. Strip him naked, not esteemed amongst them. Isaiah 53, verse 4. 10% think 10 percenters think they're entitled amongst God. <laughs> the 10 percenters think they're entitled amongst God. Yes, sir. Matthew 27, 28 to 40, you find that. Can't speak about God and don't speak truth. Speak truth. Those who throw a measly offering think God is indebted to them. Mm. Luke 18, mm. 9, 9 to 12. You don't have any confidence in God. I want you to know it's mutual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mark 14, 30. You're having no confidence in God. I want you to know it's a mutual feeling. Feel it's mutual. It's very mutual. Very mutual. No offense. When the job is done, John 19, 30, the work is done. Matthew 5, 17. Have you considered my servant, Joe? <sighs> Chapter 1, verse 8. That was a type and a foreshadow. Bars. Talking to you. You having no confidence in God, I want you having no confidence in God, I want you to know the feelings is mutual. Mutual. Yes. We saw him having confidence in the pinnacle. Mm -hmm. We saw him having confidence in Job. Yes, sir. And you consider my servant Job. You have no confidence in God. We want you to know it's mutual. Yes, sir. I'm not putting you through nothing. I'm not putting nothing on you. I'm not putting News nothing flash. on you. News I'm flash. not putting you through nothing for you to curse me. Newsflash. You don't have any confidence in God. We want you to know it's mutual. Very mutual. Mark 14, 30. When the job is done, John 19, 30, do you do diligence? The work is done. Matthew mm -hmm. 5, 17. <laughs> Have you considered my servant Job? Chapter 1, verse 8. That was a type on a foreshadow. Yes, sir. Did Esau asking for another blessing received one? <laughs> we think not. Genesis 37, 30 to 40. Did Esau asking for another blessing receive one? How about forgiveness? Mm. Hebrews 12, 16 to 18. Mm. How much more? We're just talking scripture. Mm. You say amen to heresies. Galatians 1 verse 5. You might not even know what that means. If anyone come on to you speaking another gospel other than this, you shall be cursed. How much you're in other gospels more than this? Uh, so much. Whatever, whatever denomination you're in, it's not the gospel. Should we even go outside of that and talk about cults? Ah. Let's have some dignity. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You say amen to heresy. You say mm -hmm. amen to heresy. Mm -hmm. Galatians 1 verse 5. If you walk in denomination, what more do you, what more can I say to you? Yeah. And frown your face the truth. Facts. John 14, 6. It's just a measurement to show you how far you are from the Lord. Don't worry about it. Bastards, Deuteronomy 23. You brought forth those not called. Mm. Do you remember the exclaimer I gave to, at the front? Did I give an exclaimer? Did, did you? I, did, did I do a disclaimer at the front? Oh, yeah, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, okay, you did. Just want to make sure the disclaimer was there. Yes, you did. I gave a disclaimer. Yes, you did. Okay, yeah. okay. I gave a disclaimer. I gave a disclaimer. Yes, okay, yes, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You can yeah. stick around if you want to. I yeah. know some of your God can't talk to. I mm. know some of your God can't talk to. I know some of you God can't talk to. That's Who a fact. You can't talk to the rest of you don't want to hear. Let's go. Mm. Here it is. Mm. Let's see. Hey, hey. This is where we're going to separate them now. Mm. Mm. 
Brown your face in truth. Bastards, Deuteronomy 23. You have brought forth, you have brought forth those not called, not appointed, or anointed. Mm. Mm. Romans 8, 28 to 30. Some of them are heathens. Mm -hmm. Matthew 18, 17. <laughs> we both know. We both know this. And there's a whole bunch of them walking in abomination. Facts. Because 18. Facts. Degenerates who try to smear the rainbow. Mm. Genesis 9, 13. Hold on now. And sundown. Genesis 15, 17. Do you understand? Genesis 15, 17, it says the sun was down. Do you understand when he was on the cross, the sun down? Do you understand they call this racist thing that they do, sundown city? <laughs> do you understand they try to smear sundown? Mm. Sundown is big event in scripture. So much scripture. They cloud their activity of being racist on the sundown. This is a sundown town. Sundown mm. time. You try to smear. Notice the word smear. Try. Mm -hmm. Try to smear the promise of the rainbow. Try to smear sundown. Mm. Too much scripture. And still you embrace them. Tough. Your lack of reverence, Psalms 89, 7 for God, oh. make you embrace them, even trying to force them on us. Mm. Not comprehending that is the same reason you don't get us. Genesis 1, 26, go ahead. Embrace the Cain's. Embrace mm. the Esau's. Mm. Embrace the Lot's. Embrace the Absalom's. And Judas and the likes of mm -hmm. the spirit are always mocked by the children of the flesh. Genesis 21, 9 to yes, 10. Sir. Not the bastards. Yes, sir. I'm the firstborn male and the matrimony. Bastards, it's written. Mm. Matthew 1, 18 to 25. Check the archives. Mm. 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 <laughs> Woo. Okay. I be careful. Making it claim like they're walking with God, that they're embracing the likes of Cain and Esau. Mm -hmm. You realize every time there's a child, every time there's a pedophilia, it's somebody's child on both ends. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every time a rape happens, there's somebody shot on both ends. Facts. You go ahead and you, you, you do know a time there's a rape. There's somebody shot on both ends. Mm hmm Should we talk about the Absalons and the Lots? Mm. Tough. Some of these acts, all these acts are still happening today. Hey. And the Spirit of the Lord is saying, you claim that you're walking with me. You don't even say you severed them. You still embrace. You can try to force them on us. Praying for them. Bringing them to me. Scripture. Did I not tell that boy what the Spirit says? Is there any forgiveness? Mm. For you, so? Mm. Was there another blessing for him? Mm -mm. Don't force this on me. Mm. Mm. I gave a disclaimer, right? Yes, yeah, yes. I just wanted to make sure. Mm. Don't gotta stick around for this. No, no, no. I know some of you believe that God can't talk to you. Of course. I know some of you think God can't speak to you. Mm -mm. You don't have to stick around for this. Facts. <laughs> this is not fickle me ears. Facts. This is not putting my child before God. No nepotism here. This is not putting my child before God, bastards. Mm-hmm. Leave now. Why you can? 
This is where we separate the wheat from the tear. Leave now. Mm. Been at spiritual war, Ephesians 6, 12, so long it's hard to conform to civilian lifestyle. <laughs> Bars. Bars. Who you think you're talking to? Bars. I don't know who you think you're talking to. We've been at spiritual war, Ephesians 6, 12, so long. It's hard to conform to civilian <laughs> life. <laughs> yes. Mm. I don't know who you think you're talking to. With PTSD. <laughs> Prophetic translation of spiritual divine. <laughs> Tough. Sorry for the sports analogy. First Corinthians 9, 24 to 27. Forgetting you're not in the game. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Mm. Less, much less to get it in scripture. Facts. Second Timothy 3 16. I wanted to know the sports analogy that the spirit called first Corinthians 9 24 to 27. Did due diligence that has sports analogy in scripture. <laughs> All with spiritual would take big shot Rob 7 over Michael 6. All as, day. As you are. As you are, you bastards. If you don't know, I would take the 7 over the 6. You can't yeah. Have, can't help. Can't, we can't yeah. help. Yeah. That's just to tell you, you're not, that's manifesting you're not in the game. You're not there yet. Yeah. Not in the yeah, game. In the game. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never understand Romans 3.11. Just emphasizing none understands. It's not your fault. You don't know enough scriptures. Bars. This favor come with being with the... <laughs> You'll never understand Romans 3.11 this. Favor come with being with the anointed. Not to comprehend that is not to understand your salvation. I can go through the little small ones and let me just go straight to the jugglers and deal with the pinnacle. Mm. You'll never understand Romans 3.11 this. Favor come with being with the anointed. Not to comprehend that is not to understand your salvation. You do know all who are favored of God are in the body of Christ. There's no such thing as being favored of God outside the body of Christ. There's no such thing. Else you're just a nobody. So you understand mm -hmm. that if you don't understand to be with one anointed is the favor because favor is on them. Mm -hmm. the, off the head falls on the shoulder. Shoulder. Uh. It could have gone left for sale. <sighs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Mm. Mary was on her way to be a nobody. Yes, sir. What's it for other kids? I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> kids? I thought so. Mm -hmm. On her way to be a nobody. You might not understand this. Favor comes with being with the anointed. Not to comprehend that is not to understand your salvation. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to pause. Mm -hmm. Take a moment and do a introspective view of your life and look who's around you. Mm. You get what they get. 
Some are not even being ascended. You know what you know. You know what I know. You've taken a moment to look around you. Who you co-created with, who you are with, who you bound yourself with, they're not even ascending. To the scripture to which we read. They're not even walking in lockstep with the scripture. They're not going up. You know that, and I know that. Don't force this on me. Ooh. Hey, you could have left. I told you you could have left. Mm. I gave you this game Faith to come with being with the anointed, not to comprehend that is not to understand your salvation. You don't understand these things. Ooh. This is veil from you. You won't. Mm. Mm. What well, is doesn't have to be. Bastards. Yeah, you don't understand. It. Don't worry about it. Mm. Mm -mm. Don't worry about it. Don't think it's you. He sits in the heavens and he laughs. <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> Things going well for you? Things going well for you? I know you think it's you. He sits in the heavens and he laughs. I know. You can, you can leave. There's still time for you to leave. There's still time for you to leave. Mm -hmm. No church. Don't got to put your hand up. You can just leave. Mm -hmm. No, God can't talk to you. Mm -mm. We know God can't talk to you. Mm -hmm. We know you don't take the, admon the, the, the admonishment. We know you don't take the You can just leave. Mm. Carry on as you are. As you are. I know you think it's you. Six and <laughs> <seven> and he laughs. <laughs> I know you're enjoying the game from the owner's box. <laughs> Come on, man. So, so, so. Things going well for you? Yeah. You know it's, it's you. you. <laughs> no, you think you know. Bastards. You don't understand. When the man of God said right there, just a pinch of salt changes. Mm. If his shadow fell over some people, it made a difference. If he just passed through, it made a difference. Elo talk. I know you think it's you. <laughs> Remember the glass of water you gave him? Woo! Interest is on it. Mm. Remember the visit you visited him? Interest is on it. Mm. For the least of them, you did it for you, did it for me. Interest is on it. ROI was on it. Mm. Bastards. Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Four soldiers dying to serve in service. We get out of here now. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Leave that boy alone, man. Let's leave that boy alone. Mm. Woo! No, it's bag again. Mm. Let's leave him alone, man. Let's leave him mm. alone. Let's leave him alone. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Simple grade nine introduction of biology will help you in that. You don't need to have a master's in that. Simple grade nine introduction to biology will help you with that. I know you think it's you who sits in heavens and he laughs. Most mm. soldiers died in the cervix than service. Okay. Tell the bastards, Deuteronomy 23, who made it. It's for witness and testimony. Second <laughs> time. One to twelve. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Mm. Sporting shape and shaping in the quick. Tell the bastards who made it. Tell the bastards. Oh, the testimony. Uh huh. Mm. So just died in the service and in the service. Bars. Not your fault. Got no. Ah. 
crazy. I gave you worthy, episode 238. Even though you weren't worthy, that's mm. that goes without saying. Look what you put before us. Mm. Genesis 1 26. I did give them a disclaimer. Yes, you did. Just check it. Yes, you did. See why I didn't send Elijah to Israel during mm. the Facts. Stay with the boy. Facts. Facts. I gave you worthy episode 238, even though you weren't worthy. Mm. Look what you put before us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See why I didn't send Elijah to Israel during the famine? Mm. But right. there, that? Yes, sir. Mm. Now, you understand. Oh. These who claim the Israelites is claiming they know God. Mm -hmm. Here are supposed to be those who are mongrel and don't know. Yes. That. That's the storyline. But God says, I'm going to send the man of God. You might not know who Elijah is, and I understand who Elijah is. You really might not know who Elijah is. You, you really might not know who he is. <laughs> did Elijah say he can't tie the pinnacle shoes? Yes, he did. <laughs> Don't think Moses can tie his shoe. You really might not know who Elijah is. Did Elijah say he can't cry, tie the Christ shoes? Yes, he did. Don't think Moses can tie his shoe. shoes. You might not know who Elijah is. Mm. Did both men? Here in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. did both men, by way of manifesting the flesh, came before the Christ in the, in the embodiment? Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you know God to be for making mistakes? Mm -mm. Do you know God for being deliberate? Yes, sir. And why not send Moses? Ah. Please get off him. Mm. Says a whole lot about you. That's a bar. If I send Genoa to go take care of stuff over AZ, it's deliberate. Come on. Bastards. Deliberate! Come on. Woo! Butter was deliberate. God don't make no mistakes. <sighs> I don't know why you make no mistakes. Mm. <laughs> I talk to them like this, man. Bastards. Let me not scare them, man. Let me not scare them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me not scare them. It's balling. See why I didn't send Elijah to Israel during the famine? Mm. Mm -hmm. Zerapat. First Kings 17, 17 16. Time, times, and a half, and three and a half years, bastards. Luke 4, 25 to 30. You so-called believers wouldn't take us in. Facts. Facts. All that the Spirit is saying. I didn't send there because they wouldn't even take him in. Facts. Did he forget no room in the inn? Mm, no grace, no welcome. <sighs> Luke 2, 7. You're lying. Set the table. Care the utensils. Set the table. Mm. Get priests. We're priests. We're priests. Mm. Set the table. Bring the leaf. Bring the bread. Light the candle. Bring the utensils. Woo. Remember, this widow had a son. Yes, sir. Let's continue. Did I get a disclaimer up top? <laughs> yes, you did. Your love for the bastards. Not knowing the child of the bondswoman shall not grow up with the child of his promise. Mm -hmm. Get that in Genesis twenty-one, verse nine. I told you, you're like the Ammonites and Moabites who didn't greet us with bread and water. Mm. Deuteronomy 23, 3 to 8. 
would you take from the basket and give to us? You might not understand what the Lord just said. You might not understand what the Lord just said. You might not understand what the Lord just said. Too much glory. This woman who does not live in Israel and supposedly does not, quote unquote, is not walking with God and does not know God. She has one son. And God has more confidence in she taking bread from her own child to give to the man of God. You so poor believers. I have no confidence in you. Oh. I'll send Elijah to you that you would deny your own bread and give him bread. Mm. You think you're better than the Moabites and Ammonites, do you? Bastards. You can ah. I gave a disclaimer. You can stop. You can still leave. You can still leave. You can still leave. Balling. You can still leave. The door is open. You can He's still balling. leave. He's balling. You can still leave. Mm. Do me a favor and stop using sports analogy. They're not in the game. You can still leave. <laughs> <laughs> you can still leave. <laughs> they are not in the game. They're not in the game. They're not in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You speak languages to which people can... Understand. Understand. Yeah. Yeah. You're being rude otherwise than that. You're being rude. You can leave. <laughs> Read yeah, the room. Yeah. Read the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can still leave. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're balling. You're balling. <laughs> you take from the bastards and give us. It's condemnation left, right, and center, and all over. Oh, I you know give? you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. Come on. So what did I do? Take the out, bastards. Consider Take it out. Grace. Take the out and consider it grace. Ephesians 2, 8, 10. Wow. I didn't send them to you. I sent them to a foreigner. I know you wouldn't give them the rent. I know you wouldn't. You wouldn't give it. You, you said you have no room in the end. Mm. You know you love your bastards. You put your bastards in. Four. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Who you are inherently. Yes, sir. He's just judging you. We're not judging you. We're just telling you who you are. Mm -hmm. Tough. <laughs> think a lot of things, OG. Think a lot of things. Just no red and blue. You're not more blood than us. <laughs> Leviticus 17, 11, do you do diligence? You can creep you can creep on water to that. Matthew 14, 25. And understand water is <laughs> don't worry about it. Imitation is flattery. Don't be so vain. Imitation is flattery. Don't be so vain. It's not blood red. And at times your vein blue. Mm -hmm. Your vein look blue. Kingdom fighting against itself cannot stand. So we're trying yes. to say your members are fighting against itself. And you won't <laughs> stand. Don't worry about it. Oh. Mark 3, 24. Red and blue are in the priest's effort. Mm. Tough. You might not understand what's going on. Yep. Exodus 28, verse 6. Does the sky appear blue? Is your blood red? Fresh and blood is not your enemy. With spiritual powers in heaven and dark places. Ephesians 6, 12. Yeah. Jesus moving in silence. Ecclesiastics 3, verse 7. Hold that close to your chest. The only time I speak in chess is to declare checkmate. <laughs> mm, John 19, 30. John 19, 30. They failed to realize he said to open out his mouth. And the only time he said something was checkmate, it's done. No, don't worry. I don't no, I don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, dumb, 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 dumb. <laughs> yeah, man, come on, man. Only time I hey, it's done. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> come on, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell them to stop using sports analogy. They're not in the game. <laughs> Claiming to be doing this is big. I'm, I'm going to help them out with this. I could, I could, I could. If I was not. 
it says love edifies, so I'm going to mm. break the part down. You know, claiming to be doing something in the walls don't impress us. And it's yeah. not the same as the church or the kingdom. Oh, yeah, you might not understand what God just oh, said. You might, be, you might really not understand what the Lord oh, just said. You might really not understand what the Lord just said. Mm. At this point, I'm going to give you a, a few moments to grab your, grab your scriptures. Mm. Grab your scriptures. Grab your scriptures. You got it? All right. <laughs> you can put it on pause too. You might not have that discernment. You can put it on pause and let's go grab it and come back. Mm. Let me give you this. Claiming to, be, claiming to be doing something in the walls. Isaiah 66 verse 1. Mm -hmm. You read that scripture? He does not dwell in the building made by human hands. You read yeah. that? Do you comprehend that? You read it. The question now, did you comprehend it? Do you understand it? He does not dwell in building made by human hands. Mm -hmm. There's no over spiritual, under spiritual, none of that stuff. It is what it is. Scriptures can't be broken. It, it's taken it for what it says. Claiming to be doing something in the world. Claiming to be doing something in the walls, Isaiah 66, verse 1. That is the physical body of him, but the place where you guys go to say you're worshiping in churches, these places, don't impress us. Mm. Genesis 1, 26. Now, go back to Genesis 1, 26. Yeah, that's where you're not impressing. Don't, not us. Don't impress us. Let mm -hmm. us know image and likeness. Mm. As it is not the same as church, Ephesians 1, 22. Facts. That church is not a building made by human hands. That's the body of Christ. Or the kingdom, Revelations 22. There is a vast difference. You think you're doing, you think you're touching heavens by doing something in the walls. These are man-made 501Cs doing family business, all kind of stuff, heresies and all kind of stuff they're doing. You just don't know. It's, I'm just telling you what it is. That's not the same and doesn't impress us. Unless you're doing something in the body, unless you're doing something in the kingdom, we're not moved. We're not moved. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Unless you do something, unless you do something in the kingdom, we're not moved. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Preach. You don't see yourself in the book. Revelation thirteen eight. You're probably not in the book. Mm -hmm. Revelation twenty one twenty seven. You don't see stuff in the book, you're probably not in the book. Understanding that whole saying is to understand John 5 39. You read the scriptures to them, you have leave you have eternal life to them that be yes, with them. Sir. And then yes, you know sir. Oh my God. Those in the book don't have to wait on the book to be open. It's written off <laughs> before the foundations. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Revelation thirty eight. Yeah. Tough. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> These things, dog. We're just going over. We're just going over. These things. Holy. Those in the book don't have to wait on the book to be open. It's written off me. Before the foundation, Revelation 13, 8. No forerunner. Pay attention to this. No forerunner or pacer. Mm. Bastards. Mm. Bastards. No blueprint. Make it according to the pattern. Exodus 25, 40. I am. As I believe, I speak. 2 Corinthians 4, 13. You might not understand that there's no forerunner to what we're doing. You might not understand. God doesn't reveal that unto you. It's not for him to reveal it unto you. You might not understand there's no forerunner. We don't even know what we're doing. There's no forerunner. There's nobody doing this. There's nobody. This is the first of its kind. Everybody knows this. No forerunner. 
so gracious. There's nobody pacing us. Mm. Mm. Even if you're running a long distance race, an 800 meter, they at least grace you. Yes. Sir. There's no, we don't even have a pace, sir. We're pacing ourselves. We have to pace ourselves. Should we, should we be doing one, one a week? Should we do one? one a, we started off doing one every week. And realize this is too much. Mm. I'm sorry. Was it once a week? No, two weeks. What was it? Two weeks. Two. Thursday and Sunday. This is us cut back. Mm. This is the cut back. <laughs> Not one a month. One a week. That's for a month. We just talked about doing eight a month. Mm. No forerunner or pacer, bastards. Mm. Do you understand? Moses had a blueprint, make it according to the pattern show. <sighs> Exodus 25 40. I am. As I believe I speak, 2 Corinthians 4.13. If your spirit does not vibe with other spirit, that's inherent. Mm. <laughs> if your spirit, Job 32.8, does not vibe with other spirit, Genesis 41.38, that's inherent. Ezekiel 28.15-19. to it's worthwhile you do your due diligence in those scriptures. If your spirit, which is outside the spirit of, of God, a man's spirit, does not vibe with the Holy Spirit that reside in us, that's inherent. It's inherent. <sighs> Ezekiel 28, 15 to 19. When you read Ezekiel 28, it says, yeah. I made him. Yes, he was around us. Mm. We found something in him. Mm. Quality. It's inherent. Cut him off. We're not offended when you say your spirit doesn't vibe with us. It just tells us what we can't see. <laughs> Hi, baby mama. <laughs> we will get his eye in you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't, mm -hmm. you don't, you don't get along with us. It's okay. Mm -hmm. We know why. Mm -hmm. So much glory. We know why. Mm. The thing is, do you know why? Mm. Mm. This other part. If you're not at a point in life where you really want to hear this, you should leave. <laughs> Cut this off. Don't go on further. This is not condemnation. This is not admonishment. This is just truth. God. I know a lot of you don't understand this because you don't understand scriptures. Missing out on us here is a precursor. Oh. Missing out, of missing out on us there. You might not understand what the Spirit of the Lord just said. Who has a pinch of the Spirit? Who is sealed? Forget spirit. Who is sealed? And don't understand that. If you miss out on Christ here, you miss out on Christ there. Now, if you have a, if you had a comprehension of your salvation, if you if you comprehend scripture, forget the word understand, not understand. If you comprehend scripture, that is nothing to fabble about and waddle all over. It's just straight. Judas. Missing out on us here is a precursor of missing out, missing out on us there. Tough. Take a moment. Mm. The inventory. Look around your life. Mm. Head, take a moment. Mm. 
You looking around your life? Okay. If you're if you're a male, I want you to see where you're at in the Lord. Because mm. you're the head. If you're a female, I want you to take an introspective look and look around you. The man you marry, the man you're with, the man you cohabitate with, where is he in the Lord? Mm. Okay, you've laid down your sword, you're being truthful before God, and you're realizing now that he's not where he's supposed to be. So you realize you've missed out. Mm. Missing, out on, missing out on us here is a precursor of missing out on us there. That's tough. When the shadow of the God falls over you, that mm. is so much grace. When God just looks your way, that is so much grace. To be so ignorant and not understanding, to come under the shadow of the Lord, come under the wings of the Lord, you're just ignorant beyond belief. Oof. Missing out on us here is a precursor of missing out on us there. Holy. Do you understand David mm. was up in the mountains and sent for all the food to feed his army and himself and says, we're fighting the war. Hey, man, understand what's going on here? David mm -hmm. says, I'm in war for so long, I can't mm -hmm. even go home to civilian life. Yes, yes, sir. And the one who's so far away from God says, who is David? I don't know this bastard. No help. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. And Sam is going to go down and deal with this in the state of food. I was asking graciously, but that's okay. I'm going to go down and take Keep the same it. energy. Bastard. On his way, the wife <laughs> on the right side of history mm -hmm. met him on the way saying, it's just a worthless man I'm with. This is a worthless man. <laughs> she said it with her own mouth. Yes, sir. This is a worthless man I'm with. <laughs> Come on, baby. I'm going to make you understand scripture. Mm -hmm. God is so crazy. He didn't even put that blood on David's hands. Mm, bars. Woo. You might have missed that. You might have missed that in church. You might have missed that in church. You might have missed it in church. <laughs> you might have missed it in church. Uh huh. God is so gracious. He didn't put that blood on David's hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scripture he calls him a scoundrel. He's attack. a scoundrel. Heart attack. Heart attack took care of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Still the veil is on your face. Still the mm. veil is on your face. Mm. <laughs> who, would she, who would she be again in life? Nobody. Wasn't she worth wasn't she married to a worthless man? Yeah. What would become of her offsprings if she had them for him? Nothing. You might not understand what's happening here. Let me say this again. Miss out on us here it's is missing a appearance of missing out on us there. Tough. I want this to be more than scripture. I want yeah. this to be a way of life for them. Facts. See, because they don't understand how God moves. Mm. She's married. But because God have, she's still in the fold of God. All things work for good for those who love God, for those who are caught. All those are happening. Mm. Look around you and take inventory. This praying, praying and forcing them on me. You can't force Esau on me. You can't force Lot on me. You mm. can't force Cain on me. You can't force Absalom on me. Mm -hmm. You can't force Judas on me. Facts. You're just doing that because... You're not on me. Ooh. Ah, that's okay. Bars. That's okay. <laughs> mm. Was Jacob with the Lord? Yes, sir. You hear what he said? When his son says, "Is there another blessing?" It's none. Is there another forgiveness? He says. Nope. Did he try to force it? Nope. Did he, did, he, did he petition the Lord? Nope. You're just doing it because you're not there. Not on me. You remember David caught up in his feelings? Yes, sir. 
<laughs> forcing his forcing himself on him. Trying to force the little child on the Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. David, is that what it's supposed to be? Yeah, you know that. Don't force this on me. Get off your knees, David. <laughs> on me. <laughs> We're such free men. We're such free <laughs> men. I love it. Thanks. Lord, it's just a child. Mm. Don't put it on the child. Put it on me. Put it on you. Shut up, bastard. Nothing's on you. Bastard. Who the hell are you to bring counsel to the Lord? Who the hell are you to bring counsel Who to the Lord? Who are you? Who are you? Hey, 175,000 was upon you. And you said, don't put it on them. Put it on me. I spoke when the prophet spoke and the prophet came to you and said, it's a dumb yep. deal. Yep. That's a wrap. It's a wrap. What's this you're doing? What's this? What's this you're doing? Mm -hmm. What's this? What is, what's this fasting you're doing? What's this fasting you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it on you. I don't recognize you. <laughs> oh, this is in vain. Mm. Don't force this on me. Don't force this on me. Don't force this on me. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. Stop acting like a heathen. Woo! Stop acting like an unbeliever. <laughs> <laughs> you know better. You know better. Don't force this on me. God has spoken. It's a done deal. Mm. Ah. Miss Nanus, here's the precursor. Miss Nanus, there. If you understand that with the pinnacle, you understand that with the anointed. Mm. <laughs> Too gracious. How you figure here? Eight years old. Seventeen. Do you do? Bastards. Yes, sir. Are you sure you understand? Romans 3.11, which we know you don't, your salvation. Mm. Romans 10.9-10, are you sure you understand your salvation? <sighs> if you miss out on the Christ here, you miss out on the Christ there. Of course. Some of you don't even understand the precursor of God sending you an anointed one here. Mm. Tough. I haven't paid tip to Melchizedek. Genesis 14, 18, 21. Some of us are exempt. I know I am. <laughs> Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 18, 1 to 8. Because I believe I speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Deuteronomy 18, 1 to 8. I'm exempt. But not to offend. <sighs> Matthew 17, 27. Here's another offer. Bars. Keep in mind, though. Keep in mind, though. Sacrifices are abolished. Daniel yes, sir. Left. Yes, sir. Mm, I'm exempt. Tough. Kilo what's talk. This, what's all this haste, man? Kilo how, talk. How about we wait until the book is open? Yes, sir. They gotta come see us. We judge it. Yeah. It's all of this. Mm -hmm. How about we wait until the book is open? Mm -hmm. Revelation 13 8. Mm -hmm. I know those who have no seed with more seed than you. <laughs> Romans, 9, <laughs> Romans 9, verse 8. <laughs> mm. Careful now. I know the pinnacle came and had no seeds. Mm hmm. Put your hands up if you got more seats than him. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Mm. Tough. What's your definition of rich and wealthy? Because I know those who really are. Colossians 1, 27, do your due diligence. Bars. Rich and wealthy. Do your due diligence and then come back to me. Are you really favored of God? <laughs> Are you really favored of God? Think about that. I'm going to come in and, ex and examine that just because <laughs> you know nothing else, so you think you're striving. Mm. <laughs> he 
Ecclesiastics 2.22. Is that 2.22? It's a monster. Too much? Oh. This is 2.22 is the monster. Ecclesiastics 2.22 is the, that 2.22? Two, two, two? It's, two, two, two. it's a beast. It's yeah, a beast. Yeah, please. A beast. Two, two, twos. You know nothing else, so you think you're striving. Striving, you know nothing else. So you think you're striving. Mm. Grace, Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. Eliminate arrogance, Romans 12, 3. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look what you're hoarding, Matthew 6, 9 to 21. The parable about hoarding. Imagine if you had something of value. Facts. Mm. Sweet aroma. Mm. <laughs> Imagine if you had something. Are you really favored of God? How you measure? How you guys measure favor? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how far you are from God. I'm just speaking scripture. Disclaimer. I gave a disclaimer. Yes, sir. Going on the days in the camp when a man was a. Going on the days when in the camp. Gone are the days. Gone are the days. Gone are the days. God speak once. God, God speak twice. You would not even hear Zelophehad voice in the camp. Facts. Mm. Now they shouted from a, from on high. Mm. Not even understanding spiritual things. A girl, dad. I'm so free. I'm so free. So free. <laughs> so, so free. Cut off, not knowing it. Cut off and not even Ready. knowing. Cut off already, not knowing it. Ready. Mm. I haven't seen a man happier to be. He don't know spiritual things. Come on, in the days when Zelopha had you wouldn't hear his voice in the camp. Mm. <laughs> hey, man, I understand your position. What can I do for my father in law? <laughs> Go, easy. Go, easy. Go easy. Hey, hey, earlier this week, we heard somebody say it was 50. This, this lady was speaking, and wifey said to me, It's been 50 years since they had a male in the family. I said, That's a curse. Be, oh, come on, don't spiritual stuff, curse. spiritual stuff, spiritual stuff. Spiritual stuff. Go easy, go easy, go easy, go easy. Yes. They just get cut off and cut off and cut off and cut off and cut off. <laughs> hey, hey. Speak like it's nothing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the spirit says, the spirit says, the spirit says, you know nothing else, so you think you're striving. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 222, look it up, bastards. You know nothing else, so you think you're striving. You think you're striving. Nothing else. Facts. So you think Facts. you're starving? Facts. You know nothing else. Mm. So you think you're striving? Mm. Go on the days when Zillop had, we wouldn't hear his voice in the camp. Facts. Now they shut it from the mountaintop. Facts. Mm. Just because they don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Cut off already, not knowing already. Knowing already. <laughs> Ain't that something? Think you striving. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really favored of God? Mm. Are you really favored of God? It's the metric. 
a good life. Mm -hmm. Cause this, that. You might not understand my joy when I come here. Mm. You might not understand my joy. Mm -mm -mm. I thank God mm. for the little pinch of spinging he drop on me. Because I pity people. I grieve for them. I mourn mm. for them. I see people not where they're supposed to be. And they're happy. And I realize the scripture says Judas was remorseful. But he, at least he had enough in him. There was enough in him to know I messed up. You you were just so happy not knowing already. That hurts. Wow. Wow. That hurts. Wow. This is this is the this is the, this is the compassion of God speaking now. Mm -hmm. I'm not gloating, I hurt. Love edifies. But he says, I bestowed grace on you so you can see the, di the difference. Bars. Bars. I bestowed grace on you so you can see the difference between difference. grace and not having grace. Gra Imagine one cut off from God and don't know they are. I'm not in that place, so I'm thankful. Mm. I see people in that place. They don't know the difference. Bars. I see people happy for the job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Happy for food and sustenance. Mm -hmm. Happy for mm -hmm. the car. Happy for the kids. Mm -hmm. Happy for life. Move mm -hmm. closer. Mm -hmm. Not written in the book of life. Mm -hmm. They're happy. They're happy. They're happy. They're happy. happy. They're happy not knowing the Lord. That hurts. That's mm. good. The God, it hurts. Mm. Are you sure you're favored of God? Mm. Let's move on. Mm. Tough. One written in the book, Revelations 13 8, will have a longing. Galatians 5 25 is his patience, long suffering. For it to be open, Revelations 21 27. Mm. <laughs> Manifest is that written of us. <laughs> if you're walking with God and you have a certain place with God, this is JV, but I'm just going to give you this, you know, show you something early so you can see it spiritually. Certain manifestation in your life will tell you. You understand? That's why Christ says the scriptures are written up for me. He lived it out. The Paul, the whatever, the Moses, the Elijah, the David. It, it, it just manifests. You can't go right. You can't, you can't go left. You can't go wrong. You, you're just living it. Right? This is a manifestation that I'm that, that we are doing. It's written of it's written of us to do this. It's written of yes, me. To do this. You have to understand these things. Yes, sir. Not by choice or arbitrary. Yes, sir. So it says, that's why I said the manifestation is that written of us. Yes, sir. One of the hardest parts of the sojourn, Exodus 12 40, is humility. Yes, sir. First Peter 5 6. I see it on them. I see a man cut off, but not knowing he's cut off. I see a man that written in the book of life, but he doesn't know better. Mm. Now for me to go gloat on him or whatever, we both only in the Lord. Yes. The spirit of the Lord is up on you to make you see the difference. And like, look at look, look at his happiness. Mm. Look at him striving in vain for nothing. Mm. Look at him going to bed late and getting up early. Early for nothing. Mm -mm -mm. Should we talk about those who plant just for another to reap? Facts. Build just for another to live in. Yep. Vineyards for others to drink. My heart grieved for the one who overcome living just to die. 
Isaiah 59 verse 2, do you do diligence? And it says what? Your sins separate you from God. Now all of under the banner of the blood mm. can't help you. Yes, sir. You might not understand how big that is. Tough. Not grief for the one who overcome living. Just to die. Life. Mm. You go through all you go through in life. But you remember the precursor? The, 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 if you miss us here, you're going to miss us there. You didn't, that principle wasn't enlightened to you. The veil was on your face. You didn't get it. You miss us here. You miss us there. Didn't accept us here. Can't accept us there. It has to be mm. done here. Don't Basically, wait. Everything on the sun. Don't wait. Mm. My heart grieves. His spirit is still grieving. My heart grieves for the... Remember, we're grieving for those who think that God favors them and he doesn't. They get some kids. They got roof closing shut. Everything natural. They have all the things in the natural, and they're mm -hmm. and it's like a deception that they're clouded and oh, life is good. I'm gonna no talk about the the life. They might they might be making good money, exceptional money. Um, mm -hmm. we're, we're talking generational wealth, all that. Yep. yep. Where you're supposed to be. Be with the Lord. And get swindled. Mm -hmm. Like ah, look at that, all in vain. Mm. I grieve for the one who overcome living just to die. Mm. Isaiah 59 verse 2. I overcame death to live. Bars. You might not understand first Corinthians <laughs> 50 to 58. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, tough. Thank you for abiding in me under your shadow. Psalms 91 verse yeah, 1. Sir. When we were among sustenance, we served. Mm. Greatest, he was he was greatest amongst his he who served. <clears throat> when we were amongst food, we served it. We didn't sell it. How much more the essence? Mm -hmm. When we were around food, we were servers, not mm -hmm. selling. Mm -hmm. Now we're around the true essence of life. Man shall not but man shall not by brother but every word of God. So and now we're gonna sell it? Never. So if we were around the sustenance and we were servants, oh, how much more we're around the essence? Same principle. Same thing. We were servers and we were dealing with the sustenance of life. Now we're around the essence of life. We're still serving, bastards, still serving. Tough. Luke 22, 26. Not sell. How much more the essence? John 4, 24. Mm. <laughs> Sacrifice our skills to defend over scoring. Philippians 1, 15 to 18. I'm talking in sports talk, dog. <laughs> we sacrifice our skills to defend over scoring. Mm. Philippians 1, 15 to 18. Championship. Short version, short, ver short version of Philippians 1, 15 to 18. It says, and many come unto the gospel for not the right reason. God will still use the bastards, but to them there's be a judgment. Mm. But then it goes on to says, but some come on to defend the gospel. Bars. We sacrifice our skills to defend. To defend the scoring. Yes, sir. Championship player. We're not trying to look for no glory. We're not in the walls. We're not mm -hmm. trying to have no biggest congregation. We're not trying, we're not doing nothing. We sacrifice our skills mm -hmm. to defend the gospel over scoring. Mm -hmm. You're going to need clearance for that. <sighs> Mm. Walking in relationship, Romans 8 16, over religion. Yes, sir. James 1 26. Freely we receive, freely we give. Matthew 10 8. Was on the right side of a wire and charge. 
Matthew 26, 63 to 65. Open not his mouth, Isaiah 53, 7. Strike the shepherds and they shall flee, 13, 7. Are we still talking about him or talking about him? Mm -hmm. It's written up us, Genesis 126. What was done behind the walls? Mm. Another manifestation of what's written of us. Yes, sir. It's written of us what was done behind the walls. Mm -hmm. Revelations 22, 14. You have a dishonorable send off for the honorable. Bury him outside the gate. <laughs> 12. Yes, sir. Because you're not familiar with Genesis 20. You're not, yes, you're, not, you're not familiar with Revelations 22. It's not your fault. It's and an honorable good. send off for the dishonorable. <laughs> Gotta love it. Wisdom is yet again vindicated. Luke 7, 35. This is just a little jewel tucked in. We just tuck this in there. You can talk about us. You can talk to us now. Let us see then. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 3. And don't you know you shall judge fallen angels? Interest. You can talk to us now. Mm -hmm. Let us see then. We got to gotta come see us. Because you forget. Those who miss us here, miss us there. And you forget the little man, Pilot, talking to him. Mm -hmm. Aren't you going to? You'd have no authority over me unless it was given to you. God gave it. You can talk to us now. Mm -hmm. Let us again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Grace on this is ridiculous. Crazy. We already established this veil from you. <laughs> Too humble to even get into this. We already established this veil from you, the light, not a candle. Mm. Leviticus 24, 3 to 4. That just means illumine. <laughs> it's a veil from you, the light, not a candle. <laughs> Leviticus 24, 3 to 4. It's not carried out by the one who puts out showbread. Leviticus 24, 8 to 9. All the priests, or one priest lights, another carry out the bread. Everybody <laughs> has to this. Likewise, the utensils that are put out. Exodus 27, 19 to 21. Three duties in the tabernacle. Light the candle. Putting out the showbread, overseeing the utensils. I'm too humble to do this. <laughs> now I'm only one. <laughs> oh, man. Bastards. That's better from you. As mm. it all. As it ought to. As it ought to. <laughs> you might not understand this is veil from you, the light of the candle. Mm -hmm. Leviticus 24, 3 to 4. It's not carried out by the one who puts out the showbread. <laughs> he wouldn't know what to do with the showbread. Leviticus 24, 8 to 9. Likewise, the one who oversees the utensils. Mm. Trinity. And the anointing. To have the anointing of lighting the candle to illumin illuminate scriptures to the bread and then say, eat, bastards, eat. You might not understand what God is. You might not, the veil might, the veil, the veil. It's a veil from you. Mm. You might not understand that glory. Mm. You might not understand how big the Kohai, the Levite tribe is. You might not understand those are. You do this, you do that. Then in one entity, one body, the anoints one that says, oh, take care of all, the, all that on the one umbrella. It's veiled from you. It's okay. Mm. Now you understand what the Spirit said. One of the hardest part of the sojourn is humility. Let's move on. Tell Netflix I have a kitchen series to pitch them. Same <laughs> old Genesis 15, 17. <laughs> Tell Netflix we have a series to pitch them. Same stove. Same stove. Genesis mm -hmm. 15, 
17, the due diligence. It offers. I know you have not come unto the Lord, thus for the veil mm -hmm. over your face, like Moses had to cover the glory, symbolic of what is today when they read the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians 3, 12 to 18. I know we know they have not come unto the Lord. Yeah, mosaic nature. Yeah, yeah we don't have that. <laughs> it's as if the veil is not torn. Mm. Mark 15, 38. Right. All the sacrifices you're making is in vain. Mm. As it's abolished, Daniel 11. You ever hear people say I'm sacrificing something to the Lord? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time. They, I don't, hear. Even know, they don't even know the sacrifice is abolished. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. We free? We free. <laughs> June, June 19th? June, uh, <laughs> June 19th? <laughs> oh. I... Two bucks. Two, two bucks. Two bitten. No slave. <laughs> you mean we free? You mean we free? We free. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we's free. All the sacrifices you're making is in vain. <laughs> and it's about <laughs> Daniel 11. <laughs> oh. I see is the more you press the anointing, the more it increase. Acts 6, 7, that's big. Claiming they are married to the Christ, but carrying their old slave master name. Mm. Tough. See, these are the little jewels that tough. tough. These are these are the nuggets. The that so deep in the earth. They're so deep in the earth. But I'm going to turn back and help them with this. Mm. If I don't break this down, they'll go to the grave or not. You know, like be, be they'll be locked away for a thousand years with that boy and never get it. Mm. They're married to the Christ. Notice the word claim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even they're married to the Christ, but carrying their old slave master name. Master name. I'm Catholic. <laughs> I'm Baptist. Mm -hmm. Jehovah's Witness. Yes, sir. Pentecostal. Mm -hmm. The Church of God. <laughs> <laughs> Mormons. Uh huh. You know, whatever. Protestant, whatever. Protestant. Oh, let's not forget the Seventh Day Adventist. Oh yeah, I can't forget them. Right. Mm hmm. Episcopal. Mm hmm. Right. How can we forget? Um, Ishmael. Oh, oh. I'm Muslim. Yeah, Muslim. You know, I didn't. I don't permit you to go to Asia. I'm Buddhist. <laughs> <laughs> right it goes yeah. on and on claiming they're married to the Christ but carrying their old slave master name it's, it's, see the depth of it you see the depth of it if oh. I didn't turn back they'd die and go to the grave not understand oh. claiming they're married to the Christ but carrying what oh, slave master's last name <laughs> Now you do know if you marry somebody, you know, come on with the umbrella. Mm -hmm. There's something there. There's a there's a there. Yes, sir. You're not taking on the what? The namesake. Principle again. It's namesake. a namesake you're not taking on. Namesake. Now, now for full disclosure. For full mm -hmm. what? Disclosure. disclosure. I'm also married. Mm -hmm. But no namesake. <laughs> Why? Why take on the, the, the old slave master name? Facts. I told you you weren't Russell. I told you you're not Brown. Hey, hey, take it easy. Mm -hmm. That's probably your right name. Keep that. Yep. <laughs> Don't take that off. Keep that. They're talking to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah. talking to you. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking to you. Yep. Don't get that up for that. Yep. The old slave master name. Keep that. Keep that. And 
I use that principle to show you a bigger principle? Mm -hmm. Claiming the America of Christ, but carrying the old slave master name. Mm. Children of God now. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. That's it. As soon as you give me the old slave master name, we know you're not there. Woo! As soon as you <laughs> give me the old slave master name, we know you're not there. <laughs> as soon as you give me the old slave master name, we say, oh, oh, oh you still That's all I want to hear. That's all hey, I want to hey, hear. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you're still sleeping with him. <laughs> getting bun. <laughs> and no conviction. Hey, and no conviction in it. You're not mad at Christ, but I'm... <laughs> Jesus getting bun, dog. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah buddy. buddy. <laughs> Jesus getting bun. I'm mad to the Christ, but I'm... You know? Mm -hmm. Church of God, Job with Pentecostal. Okay, Jesus got a yeah. bond. See? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you know you want to be faithful to one master. Mm. There you go. Scripture. Yep. Yep. Claiming their man to the Christ, but carrying their old slave master name. <laughs> Some veil their face and rightly so. But as for us, Genesis 1, 26, who covers the glory of God? Mm. 21, 23, Revelation. You might forget we're saying who rightfully walking with God covers the glory of God. Mm. And you forgot, and you forget, and you forget. And why, you, why this misses you, you forget up top. Scripture told us, Scripture tells us this, that Moses did. Mm-hmm. Your boy. Who? But who covers the glory? The spirit says, who? who? The glory of God. Moses did. Mm. But it was symbolic what he was doing because he wasn't in the place he should be with God. Mm. Yeah, God don't spark you like this. It's okay. Now I'm going to take you to the mount with him and Elijah and the Christ. Mm -hmm. And the Christ transfigured. Mm -hmm. Is there anywhere in scriptures it's telling you he covered his face? Mm. Too much glory. Too much glory. Some veil their face and rightly so. Rightly so. They so. But as for us, John 1 26, oh, who covered that, the glory of God? We let that thing go. What part of it you didn't understand when he says, who lights a candle and puts on it the bed? Bad. Glory zombie, you're going to see bastards without covering it up. The glory zombie, you're going to see bastards without covering it up. Covering it up. Mm. Too much. But I knew what two you are. <laughs> stench, the stench. I knew what I knew. What, I knew that blew him off. Mm -hmm. Normal. I just wanted to treat me like I'm a man. Yeah. <laughs> Scriptures are not there to emulate. They did to learn. Um, yeah, yeah. And if yeah. that was in, if that was inherent in you, you see Moses cover his face. He didn't understand the symbol. You your, your face is covered, you bastard. Just like Moses. Some cover their face and write it so. Mm -hmm. As you are, Ishmael. Mm. Mm -hmm. A lot of cover and face. Let's move on. Yep. As you are, Ishmael, as you are. As you are. But who in their right mind covers the glory of God? Mm. Revelations 21, 23. Let's move on. The offsprings in the spirit. Romans 9 is more than those in the flesh. Yes, sir. Romans 9, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Just the barren women have more kids than the bondswoman. Bonds mm -hmm. 
I descended myself, but I'm not on the same level as you bastards. Boss. E13. Your mind is the devil. Ezekiel 28, 11 to 19. Familiarity breeds contempt. Mark 6, verse 4. Heavy is the crown. Psalms 132, 18. Even if, even if, even if of thorns. Mm. John 19, 5. Has anyone learned from the first man? 1 Corinthians 15, 4 to 5. And Eve. Still taking senses, all you bastards. First, <laughs> First Chronicles 21. Christ had 12 subscribers, did he not? Yes, sir. Luke 9, verse 1. Over time, times and a half. Daniel 12, 7, over three and a half years he was in the ministry, 33 passed away. But can you really count the son of perdition and Dalton Thomas? Mm. <laughs> ATS. Over that same period for ATS. 40. Trials and tribulation. Mm. You don't understand what Spirit just said. Christ himself walked the face of the earth in the embodiment of flesh. Think it. Think it. And had well, but can we really count Judas and Down Thomas? Facts. This platform has been around three and a half years. Years. For the subscribers. Who am I that I should have four times the subscribers to the Christ? <laughs> God don't speak to you like this. So much glory. Three and a half years. Yes. Ten. Ten subscribers. We, we are the spirit don't count Thomas and we don't count Judas. Mm, tough. Last I checked, we're sitting up 40. Who am I? No census. No census. <laughs> and we got four, four more, four times the amount that, who am I? Who am I? Worthless bastards. Got enough. Got good. enough. We're good. You got enough. Oh my gosh. Got enough. We out. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, my Jay. Don't say God never do nothing for you. Don't ever say God didn't do nothing for you. The grace on this, so much. Oh my goodness. Is there anything left to say, man? Let's let your yes be yes and your no be no. No be yo. That's it. Take your shoes off. Standing on holy ground. Yeah, you filthy bastards. Don't say God never do nothing for you. Mm-mm. Can't deny.